everyone, it's Wiki Bunnies. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be going over all of my 2023 April favorites, which I have quite a lot, honestly. But before we get into my favorites, how are we liking today's look? I got inspired by Scene Can Fashion and also this group that I like that was from the 80s called Strawberry Switchblade and the very colorful goth. So it's kind of like the vibe. I'm trying to go for today with this outfit. I tried to tease my own hair to have that whole scene kids slash 80s type of vibe. Um, if it goes flat during the video, it's because I ran out of hairspray and yeah, it's basically just staying on its own right now. So praying that it can at least remain this shape. But yeah, let's go into my favorites. Starting off with probably what is one of my favorite sections to film when it comes to these favorite videos. And we're going into plushies. So the first guy I need to show you is this Mapu plushie that I found on Mercari Japan. And honestly, I cannot believe that I found him because I've come to find out that he is really hard to get. And then also, He's brand new with tags too, so I feel like that's like a, just a times two of something that is just rare and hard to find. But he's so freaking cute, look at him. He has sort of like a squish mellow shape about him, probably because he's just very round. But oh, he's just really adorable. And you can zip his little sleeping bag, and then boom, you see his little, his little feeties. And then also his little fishy friend or food. I'm not sure if they're friends or if he's supposed to eat him, but overall it's super cute. <laughs> I like how they made this part also plush as well to match his whole plushy, but yeah, I am really happy that I got this just because it's another thing that I can add to my Mapu collection. Honestly, I feel like Mapu is severely underrated when it comes to Sanrio characters. So if you don't already stand him, stand him now because look at how adorable he is. And so my next plushie favorite of the month is another thing that I honestly cannot believe that I found. And it is this super cute Hana Usa Sugar Bunny plush. And she is pretty large. I did not expect her to be this big, honestly, because let me just, yeah. So this is a comparison of her and my other regular sugar bunnies. And you can see she's like a giant compared to this little guy. But I really like how her fur is. It's very like soft and the color is super pretty as well. And I got her for a pretty good price. I think I paid like 55 for her, which is not expensive when it comes to sugar bunnies, mind you. It might sound a lot, but most sugar bunnies go for like over 200 and yeah, it's crazy. The selling market for sugar bunnies is just insane right now. I'm hoping that it dies down so that I'm able to collect more in the future just because I ain't paying over $200 for one singular plush. Like that is crazy. But yeah, I got her for a good deal and I'm really happy with her and I'm glad to add her to my collection cause look at them. She's so cute, I love her. And so my final plushie favorite of the month actually matches today's outfit pretty freaking well. And it is this Hello Kitty Ringo plush. And look at how freaking cute she is. She honestly just looks like an emo scene girl, <laughs> especially with the bow here and then the bows here, like fucking iconic. <laughs> But this is honestly so my type of plushie. I love plushies that are super cute and yet have like a sort of gothic -y emo type of vibe to it. And she definitely has that vibe, probably because she is from the Ring horror movie or she's dressed up like the, I don't remember the character's name, but she's dressed like that girl that's in the Ring horror movies. So that's why she's pretty like, creepy cute type of vibe and yeah i'm really happy that i found her just because she's so cute and i cannot resist anything that has black and pink because i mean look at me this is like my favorite color combo ever now moving on to my april beauty favorites so the first thing that i have been freaking loving this month has been this lotion right here and it is called beauty and planet muru muru butter and rose delicious glow body butter that's quite the mouthful but this is what it looks like so the packaging is super adorable itself because the pink and gray vibe i love it but this stuff is so freaking moisturizing to your skin like this is really nice and the only thing that i feel like really really moisturizes my skin as nice as this is like shea butter that you can get at beauty supply stores 
but this smells a lot nicer than shea butter. Like if you've never smelled shea butter, it smells kind of like a sheep for whatever reason. I'm not really sure why it does. It just does. But this smells freaking amazing. It has, let's see, I can't remember actually how it smells. Yeah, it smells kind of like roses and just like a sweet flower type of scent. But I've been using this after I get out of the bath and I'm really loving this just because it really moisturizes your skin. But it's good because it's not going to be stinky like the shea butter. So this is like a win-win situation if you want something that's going to make you smell good and also moisturize your skin after bathing. And so the next product that I've been loving this month has been the Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Highlighter Powder. And the packaging itself is so freaking pretty, like the sparkliness so that's so my taste but this stuff is very like a rose gold type of color and it just looks really pretty on your skin i will show you right now what it looks like by swatching on my hand it's just look at that it's just so freaking shimmery and pretty but i've been using this powder on my cheeks and on my eyelids just to give it a beautiful shimmery glow it literally reminds me of like pixie dust almost like the way that it glitters on you and it's really pretty i've honestly been getting into gold for whatever reason lately um i'm usually a pretty big silver fan as you can tell by my jewelry that i usually wear <laughs> but gold for some reason she's been growing on me lately and this has definitely helped me look as goldeny and glowy as possible and so my last beauty favorite of the month has been this nail polish combo that i've been doing and both of these are by sally hansen particularly the insta dry nail polishes and the colors that i'm using are pink blink and then beating heart and i actually have them on my hands right now as you can see i really like it because it matches quite a lot of my outfits just because i do have a lot of pink but i feel like it's just like a nice pop of color if you want something on your nails but i particularly like these sally hansen insta dry nail polishes just because i am a very impatient ass person and it's good because my nails will dry pretty quickly like about five minutes it takes and then they're dry and they're ready like i just i can't wait 10 15 minutes for nail polish to dry anymore honestly i'm just so <laughs> impatient when it comes to that so i've been honestly loving these types of nail polishes recently just because of that reason like my nails look super cute and then i also don't have to wait a long time to get them looking like this so these are definitely my faves moving on to my book favorites of the month so this series right here which is a manga series has been one that i have been enjoying this month and it is called Alice in the Country of Hearts and it's honestly a refreshing take on the whole like Alice in Wonderland story. This is a pretty thick manga as you can tell and I literally finished this within like an hour and a half just because I was so into it and there's like three big books like this in the series as a whole so i finished this entire series in about a week just because i really liked it and it was very like captivating but it's basically about this girl alice and she falls into wonderland and she's basically kind of stuck in this reverse harem situation so it's funny and i enjoy all the characters in the book my only complaint is i'm not really into the how they did the ending but i think it has something to do with this company, like the publisher company switching back in like 2011. Well, that's what I found out when I was searching on Google for why the ending was so short and just kind of lackluster compared to the rest of the book. But I mean, overall, I really liked the series. And if you want an Alice in Wonderland reverse harem, then I think you should pick this up and give it a try. <laughs> And so the other book series that I've been loving this month has been this one right here and it's called The Prince in His Dark Days. And this one is honestly pretty interesting. Like it's very different compared to a lot of other mangas that I've read. It's basically about this girl who comes from a poor background and she has to be a stand-in for this rich kid who basically ran away 
because he's into dressing drag and he's also gay so it's a very interesting concept for a manga just because i feel like if you do hear like somebody being gay in a manga it's usually not done in the best way but i honestly like how they tackled that issue with the other character and it's just an interesting read it's like four books in the entire series so it's pretty short but i definitely recommend reading this manga especially if you want to read a manga that has stuff like tackling lgbt issues or just social class issues and yeah this was honestly a really interesting and refreshing read so i recommend it to anybody who wants to read something different now moving on to my favorite tv shows of the month and so the first thing that i want to actually talk about is not a tv show it is a game and it is resident evil 4 the remake and i've really enjoyed watching people play through that game like i love the resident evil series and especially if they have my boyfriend Leon. <laughs> but yeah i really love watching playthroughs of the resident evil games just because it's such a good franchise like if you're into horror and you're into video games then you need to check it out if you haven't already because it's just so freaking freaking good <sighs> My next favorite show of the month has been Nekopara and it's basically about these cat girls who work in a bakery and it's a pretty slice of life type of anime and the characters are just so freaking cute. I really love Vanilla and Coconut in particular and I honestly want to cosplay some of the characters in the future just because I love their character designs and they're just so cute and likable. I have to say it's a little fan servicey, so if you're not into stuff like that then you probably won't like this show as much as I did but I really love cat girls especially anime cat girls are super cute so i really liked watching this show and it's two thumbs for me because cute cat girls are the best and my final favorite show of the month that i have been watching is quite an unexpected pick for me to be honest but i basically started watching it with my family and the show is called ted lasso you've probably heard of it if you have apple tv which we don't actually have apple tv but we got the three month free trial thing so that's why we're able to watch the show but basically the plot is this american football coach going all the way to england to play football over there and clearly the two sports are very different so that in itself is just funny but the characters are really likable and just there's a lot of crazy things and funny things that happen in the show and I really recommend it to you guys if you do like stuff that has a little bit of sport and comedy. I'm honestly not a huge football fan unless there's cute guys involved with it <laughs> but I do enjoy watching it occasionally if my family is watching it but yeah if you like something that is a mix of comedy and football then I highly recommend watching the show because it's just very funny honestly and just Ted as a character is really likable and also my other two favorite characters from the show are Roy and Keely they're just both very likable and I feel like I relate to them the most out of everyone and now moving on to my April fashion favorites so the first piece I want to show you guys is this super cute coquette blouse and I just love the gingham on it it's just so cute it reminds me of something that you would probably wear to like a picnic it's just very cute and very springy looking and it's by the brand liz lisa which is very popular if you're into j fashion and it's just so freaking cute i love this sort of like milk made ruching that it has on it it's just very pretty and it fits me like very nicely it's very flattering on the body and i love all of the lace and even the little ribbon details are just super cute so this is basically like the girliest top ever that you could wear to like a spring picnic and i'm obsessed with it my next fashion favorite of the month is a little bit plushier but still very very cute and it is this kurila kuma purse look at this is this something that you need because i felt like i needed to buy this it's just so adorable i love kuwila kuma and it's a pretty big bag so it can hold a decent amount of stuff and i just love it i got it for freaking 15 dollars, and i honestly think it's just a steal and this is perfect to have like a big accessory piece for any type of kawaii sort of style outfits and yeah I've been really loving this purse. It's just super cute. And my final fashion favorite of the month has been this adorable little hoodie and it's by the brand Mother Garden. And it's just very rare and hard to find. And I found it and I really, really like it. It's this adorable terry cloth material and it has super cute stripes on it. And then it also has these buttons, which are also 
colored, which I thought was a little cute detail to it. And then it has these little strawberry pockets and then super cute pink polka dot ruffles at the end of it. And then the little hood also has this cute little bow, which is adorable. I just feel like this top really screams spring to me and I really like it. It's very comfortable to wear and it's just freaking adorable. So yeah, this is definitely a favorite of mine of this month. Now onto the final section of the video and that is my April music faves and so let's get into that now. So a group I randomly got re-obsessed with in April has been Big Time Rush. I don't know why I started to get obsessed with their music again but I just did and it was totally worth it because their music is just so fun and uplifting but also has that typical like dopey 2000s pop sound to it which I really love honestly. It's cheesy but it's just it's gold, it really is. But this month I had two songs of theirs on repeat and it was If I Ruled the World featuring Ayaz and then the other one was Halfway There. And they are just so reminiscent of like late 2000s sound. It's just so that era, but I really love it because the nostalgic feeling I get when listening to the music is just, it's unbeatable, I love it. Speaking of 2000s music, my next favorite song that I've been listening to a lot this month has been Forever by Chris Brown. I don't know why I remembered the song out of the blue, but I did and I totally got re-obsessed with it. It is just such a good, upbeat type of song. But I've been loving the song so much that I've actually been trying to learn the dance to it, so I might come out with a dance cover soon, who knows? But yeah, if for some reason you've never heard of that song, then definitely check it out because it is infectious. It literally is an earworm. It just gets stuck in your head and you can't get it out, but it's such a fun song. And so my final April music favorite has been listening to the Norwegian group that is AHA. Uh -huh. I don't know why I've been really into like 80s type of stuff lately and particularly that group. I started listening to their discography and I was like, wow, the stuff is really good. I don't know why people don't talk about them as much because I mean, they're clearly famous for their most famous song, which is Take On Me, which is a damn banger. I don't think that song will ever not be a yes for me. It's just so freaking good. But I feel like other people don't talk about their other music as well. And I just, I've really been enjoying their whole discography as a whole. It's just really good. And if you haven't listened to it, check it out because I bet you will like it. Well, that is it for all of my 2023 April favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. Let me know what your favorite item was that I showed or is there anything that you would want to try out for yourself? Thank you all so much for watching. I seriously appreciate it if you watched through the video this long. And let me give you a heart, heart, and heart to you. And I'll see you in my next video. Ta-ta!